In my first episode of upcoming indie games, I gave a shout out to a game called Omega Strikers. It previously had two playable betas and has now been officially released. Normally I would want to start my videos with the negatives and continue the latter half of the video speaking of the endless positives, but I don't think I can do that here. Omega Strikers is an online player versus player game with competitive integrity. Where there is competition, things will be subjective to the player experience. So what is Omega Strikers? Omega Strikers is a MOBA that takes inspiration from air hockey and soccer, or football for those of you who do not live in the United States. Most of their MOBAs feature two teams of five players where your objective is to destroy some giant crystal in the enemy space. Instead, Omega Strikers has two teams of three players where you win by scoring goals, similar to real life sports. This familiarity with real life sports is what allows Omega Strikers to be easy to understand as both a player and a spectator. Before I dive into gameplay, I want to take a look at the UI and the main menu. Other than being colorful, soft, and rounded, in the upper left corner of the screen you have these icons that will take you to Omega Strikers official social media channels. I don't know any other game that does this. The closest would be Team Fortress 2 having a link to Twitch streams, but that's really it. But social media utilization does not end there. If you check out the rank leaderboard, you might find some players who have Twitch or YouTube icons. Clicking on these icons will take you to that player's channel. This allows players and content creators to make a name for themselves and potentially grow an audience. I'd imagine that the majority of players will be selecting normal, ranked, or quick play. So those are the three I'll be discussing. Quick play is for those of you who are short on time and just want to kill like five minutes before your class starts or something. Be the first team to reach five goals. Yeah, that's it. Super short, super simple. However, normal and ranked games is where the intended experience is. When you start a game, you select your character and you have one of two awakenings to choose from. What are awakenings? Think of them as your rune and keystones in League of Legends. They are there to further enhance your character stats and abilities. And you'll get more awakenings as the game progresses. In normal and ranked games, you will get to select another awakening after one of the two teams reaches three goals. But the biggest criticism regarding Awakenings is how RNG based it can be. Sure, there are optimal builds for your character, but there is a chance that you will never be able to craft that perfect build due to RNG and maybe another player taking the Awakening you need. For those of you who play roguelikes or card games like me, this may not bother you too much since we are already used to RNG screwing us over, or we just learn to make the most out of bad RNG. But another big criticism about the ranked and normal games is the game length. Three goals and your team wins a set. The first team to win three sets wins the whole game. On paper, it doesn't sound too bad, but when you play it, it feels like it does drag on for too long. Based on my own experience, I can say that games can last anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. Games within the MOBA genre lasting up to 30 minutes is nothing new. If anything, it's kind of a standard. So why is this an issue for Omega Strikers? I think it's because Omega Strikers has an emphasis on speed and momentum so games should feel fast-paced. But just because it is fast-paced doesn't mean that the games themselves go by fast. At the time of this recording, Omega Strikers has 15 playable characters and two more have been teased. 
I'd place these characters into one of three categories. Maybe four, but we'll get to that. Brawlers could, would be characters such as Julia and X. They are all about getting in, in the opponent's face and forcing them out of position. Maybe even knocking them off the map. Characters like Era and Estelle are mid-rangers. Think of them as the mage archetype, where they fight and launch the ball from a safe distance. Then we have what I call the controllers, such as Dubu and Atlas. This archetype is all about halting the enemy's momentum by creating barriers and slowing the game down. Then the last category is what I dub hybrids. Examples being Rasmus, who is both a mid-ranger and a brawler, or Juno, who is a mid-ranger and a controller. There should be an enjoyable playstyle for everyone, and any skills you develop on one character should trans over to another. But you won't have every character the moment you start the game. So you will have to do some grinding, but thankfully the grinding is actually not that bad. The currency you need to purchase more characters is called Striker Credit, and you obtain these by playing games and even playing characters for a certain amount of time. Despite the icon looking like a golden credit card, it is a free to play currency, or a free to earn currency. But just because Omega Strikers is a free-to-play game does not mean that everything will be free. Certain cosmetics, primarily skins, will have to be bought with real money. Also, this game does have a battle pass. I know there is a hate train going on for battle passes, but I think that's more so a result to our overexposure of battle passes. There are two selling points to Omega Strikers Battle Pass. The first being the amount of time you are given to complete it. You are given more than 100 days to complete the battle pass, which means you are allowed to take your time. The second being... memes. <laughs> battle passes in other games are usually trying to sell you like cool skins. But in Omega Strikers, we got emotes that take inspiration from memes. Here's X doing his best Giga Chat impression. Asher doing the pog champ face, and Era mimicking the is this a pigeon meme? <laughs> also, th there's no rotation shop. You know, that thing that Fortnite and Valorant does to get you to log in every day? Yeah, we don't do that here in Omega Strikers. I think I'll rapid fire these last few points because I couldn't turn, because admittedly I could not turn these into like a full paragraph. Creator Clash are timed events where you can play the game when points representing your favorite streamers and content creators. The winning content creators will get cosmetics based on their brand and you can say that you contributed to that. An example being the very first Creator Clash which was won by Charlie who you also may know as Moist Critical. Now he gets a skin where he can promote his Moist Esports team. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo! Omega Strikers does have a story lurking in the background, but as of right now, it's all just kind of set up for something else. Maybe we'll get some comics, some cinematics in the future, but as for right now, we'll have to settle for the character bios that we can read in-game. PC players uh, get the most variety in controls. You can use WASD, traditional MOBA controls, using Q, W, E, and R, or you could set up a controller from your home video game consoles. Visually, the game looks great. Odyssey Interactive went with an art style that will age very well in the future, and I imagine even 10 years from now, virtually no complaints about the game looking quote-unquote dated. The music in Omega Strikers is also a joy to listen to, and you've been listening to some of it in the background of this video. The music was composed by a variety of independent musicians you can find on YouTube. Every character has their own theme to match their personality, and I think the artists do hit the mark. 
the Omega Striker soundtrack is available for streaming or purchase on every major music platform. If there is anything to take away from this video, it is that Omega Strikers is fun, easy to understand, and free. It is at least worth trying out, and if it's still not your cup of tea, then that's okay. You really didn't lose much of anything. That will be all for this video, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. If I was excited about a goal, you'd know.